to improve your ability to hear S3, S4, and the murmur of mitral stenosis, have the patient roll partway onto his left side, which brings the left ventricle closer to the chest wall. Then recheck the position of the apical impulse and place the bell lightly on it. If the patient had an audible S3, it would sound like this. Now notice how the third heart sound disappears when the bell is placed more firmly on the chest wall. Listen again with light pressure. With firm pressure. And once again with light pressure. To help detect aortic murmurs, especially that of aortic regurgitation, have the patient sit up and lean forward. Then ask him to exhale completely and hold his breath out. Using the diaphragm of the stethoscope, listen at the left second interspace Breathe. and down the left sternal border to the apex. Breathe out completely again and hold it. Pause periodically to allow the patient to breathe. Listen for the high-pitched diastolic murmur of aortic regurgitation. If the patient had this murmur, it would sound like this. You may breathe. Take another deep breath. Breathe out and hold it. Heart murmurs can be distinguished from heart sounds by their longer duration. Diastolic murmurs, like this one, usually indicate heart disease. Systolic murmurs can occur in healthy people or in those with heart disease. For example, a loud mid-systolic murmur may be heard in aortic stenosis. If you hear such a loud murmur, palpate the area with the ball of your hand. Palpable vibrations associated with a heart murmur are called a thrill.